Public transit. Now, we don't use public transit where we live, so I don't have much occasion to use this. But in London, you depend on the underground and the buses. And so how am I going to get directions? My go-to app is Google Maps, and it did a great job. Say you wanted to go to the Tower of London. We are in London. I just choose Tower of London. I make sure instead of car to choose or or walking to choose public transportation. And now it gives me all the choices. First one is 31 minutes. Second one is 30 minutes. But what you look for is if there's any transfers like this one that says Elizabeth line, that's an underground and then to a bus and then walking. No, that's why the first one is the best. You just get on the circle line five minutes and you're there. So I'll choose that and it will tell me that I need to go to Paddington Station Platform 16. And you can pay for your ride with your phone. Now here's where it's different from driving. I don't start, if I start, it's not going to tell me what way to turn because I'm not in control. It just tells me to get to padding the circle line. So it's, it's just a little different. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it did great. It did. I mean, if, if you've ever traveled using the underground in London or subways in any big cities, you need to know what platform to be on. And they tell you. I mean, these train stations are megalus of big yeah, <laughs> of and crowds and crowds of people you need to know what platform to be on and it tells you